1998, the Lean Enterprise Institute popularized the concept of value stream mapping. We did that with our workbook, Learning to See, which made it possible for employees to see the processes that they were involved in. In 2001, we followed that with a training kit, Training to See, which would enable an organization to teach all of its employees how to see the processes they were involved in. Those two initiatives together have made it possible for many organizations to truly transform their vision. However, as time has gone on, we have noted that a larger and larger fraction of the mapping activities being conducted are far from the factory where the original Learning to See material was based. And so we have taken an initiative to develop a new training kit, Mapping to See, which explains how to apply the mapping concept to any activity in the office or in a service organization. The first module in the value stream mapping improvement process is project preparation. Project preparation is critical to achieving your business results because in that module we define what the key goals are, what the business issues are, and what we're hoping to achieve. The sample case is not about your business, and it's not supposed to be. Its only purpose is to get people comfortable with the methodology of drawing maps. Once we've gotten through the sample case, it's time to dig into the real current state mapping process. There are a number of hints that I'd like to share with you as we think about this process. First off, the whole process is predicated on the scientific method. Without a control, we can't understand how much better we got. Teams often ask me, why can't we just ignore the current state and jump right ahead to the future because, frankly, the current state's a mess. It's a disaster when we do that because we have no control and we have no idea As a about facilitator, how facilitator, what I'd like to do is spend a little bit of time talking about some key issues that we look out for in managing the current state process. First thing is to get the right flight level of detail to show the problems of the work system without showing so many details of the work that you confuse yourselves and can't see the work system itself. We have found typically that between 10 and 15 process boxes is about the right number of sequential process steps in order to help the team see the work system without getting swallowed up by the details. One of the key challenges as facilitator is to keep the team... As we focus on the future state map, there are a couple of key things that I'd like to highlight as for facilitators. One is these dotted lines that you can see here. These are the logical blocks or what we call chunks in the overall flow. If you were to try and make a perfect handoff between every step in a value stream, you'd end up with so much detail it would be overwhelming Once the team, the team has completed the action planning process and gotten leadership support in order to build their plan and execute it, then comes the real work, which is actually creating the change in the work systems so that we can run in the new way in a sustainable way. The way to do that is to think about breaking this work into small bite-sized chunks, let the team uh, work through that process, identify issues or problems in our plan, and we wrap up our around. discussion about value stream improvement and the mapping to see kit. What I'd like to leave you with is a reminder of how this whole system is an integrated approach to improvement. We start with careful preparation, understanding the problem, the business needs, the issues, and getting leadership support early. We build a clear picture of the current state so we understand what the work is and all of its problems. We then invent a future through a lean lens to drive value into the process and eliminate waste, typically while serving customers better with the same or even fewer resources. And then finally, we've got to have a detailed action plan in order for the team to know what, how, and when to get their work done in order that we can start to run this process in the new way. The key piece to this is that it's an integrated system of elements. If we pull out one of these pieces and try and run the process without it, for instance, skipping the current state process, we are almost sure to fail in the overall process.